Hello and welcome back to Muffet Field. Today I'm going to be looking at War Room in terms of the commands that come with the game. And the commands are those uh, kind of overseeing units that control the stacks. There have been a lot of questions around is the game balanced or is it skewed in some way? So I thought I would start with looking at the commands. Uh, so we'll look at the, the land commands, the air commands, and the naval commands by each nation. And then we'll look at the percent of the of these commands across the various nations, as well as side-by-side -side comparisons to see how it's distributed with, within each of the factions, kind of the Axis and the Allies, and then how do they compare to each other. To begin with, we'll take a look at the axis. And just a note, something I found while I was putting my game away, on the back of the boxes for each nation, there's a list of all the commands for air, land, and naval. So I just scanned those in, and that's what you're looking at here on the left for Italy, Germany, and Japan. All right, so up in the table, I listed each nation, Japan, Germany, and Italy in that order, and then an axis total. We have the land units, the air units, the naval units, and the totals, and then the percent of those totals. So Japan, 21 land units, 9 air, 9 naval. Sorry, when I say units, I mean commands. Germany, 15, 8, and 6. Italy, 8, 5, 4. So you can see there's a total of 85 commands for the axis 44 of those are land 22 are air and 19 are naval uh, you can see that japan has 46 percent of the axis commands germany has 34 percent and italy has 20 percent of the axis commands in terms of how that spreads out across the nations japan has of all their commands, 54% are land, 23% are air, 23% are naval. And you can follow that down to the bottom where Italy has 47, 29, and 24. Those total to 100% of their commands. The last three columns represent the country's percentage of units in type. So what I mean is that Japan, as you can see here, has 48% of the Axis land commands, 41% of the Axis air commands, and 47% of the naval, Axis naval commands. I guess no surprise, Italy has the smallest percent across the Axis at 18% land, 23% air, and 21% naval. The pie chart is just for a visual representation of the first three columns, the land, air, naval and how that's broken out across the axis. So looking at the axis here, no big surprises, I guess. Japan has the most commands because they also have to cover all the islands. So there's many islands with just a single command on them. Same for the air. There's quite a few islands that have air as well. Um, I guess one thing that might be a little surprising is Germany has 32% of the naval command. I think that's the only thing that really stood out though in terms of uh, the axis distribution of commands. Overall, I think it makes sense. Now let's look at the Allies. The Allies have a total of 90 commands. These are distributed across the UK with 32 commands or 36% of the total commands. The US at 29 commands or 32% of the total commands. The Soviets, 21 commands with 23% of the total Allied commands, and China with 8 and just 9% of the total commands. Looking at how the commands are distributed across the countries, starting at the bottom with China, I think it's pretty obvious that they have 100% land commands. They don't have any air or naval. The Soviets are heavy land weighted as well, with 57% and only 14% naval. The U.S., 41% land, 
31% air, 28% naval. In the UK, 47% land, 25% air, and 28% naval. Again, looking at the last three columns, one can see that the US, sorry, the UK has 32% of the land commands, 35% of the air commands, and 43% of the naval commands. You can follow those lines down for the other nations as well. So I guess no big surprise here that the UK has the largest navy and that the Soviets have the smallest. Again, these don't represent actual fighting units. These represent commands available to create fighting stacks. Now let's take a look at the Axis and Allies together on one slide with totals for all the nations. So the Allies are on top, the Axis are on the bottom. So if one looks at the combination of 90 units for the Allies and 85 units for the Axis, that's a total of 175 total commands. I keep saying units, but I mean commands. So as a percent of total, the Allies have 51% of the available commands. The Axis have 49% of the available commands. And you can see that the UK has 18%, US 17%, etc. Japan 22%, Germany 17%, Italy 10%. Shifting over to the right, the last three columns, one can see that the Allies have 52% of the land commands, the Axis 48% of the land commands, the Allies have 51% of the air commands, the Axis have 49% of the air commands, and the Allies have 51% of the naval commands, and the Axis 49% of the naval commands. One thing that stands out a little bit is that Japan has 23% of all the land commands on the map. Again, they have all the islands they need to cover, so there's a lot of commands sitting out there with just one infantry unit. In terms of navies, the UK and Japan are comparable. No surprise there, I guess. This allows them to create the largest number of naval stacks. So what does this all mean? For me, it just shows that in terms of the available commands, on the board, things are pretty well balanced between the Axis and the Allies. This doesn't represent, again, the beginning fighting forces, but it represents at least a picture of what one can create and what the limits are. I don't think we've ever run out of commands except for the Americans, maybe once or twice for land units, but otherwise, most of the nations have had sufficient commands so far in the game. In future videos, I also want to look at the actual starting fighting power of all the nations and see how many infantry, artillery, and tanks each nation has and do something similar to what I've done here. And I also want to look at the territories that are under the control of each nation how many resources they have, and what's that beginning buying power at the beginning of the game. If you see something in the charts and tables here that I missed, please leave a comment below. If you have any ideas for future videos, let me know. Thanks for watching.